So what are the traits of someone who becomes a great life coach or a great counselor? Did you know that they're the same traits as exceptional managers and business owners? Isn't that fascinating? Hey, you're tuned into David Essel's Daily Video Boost, your exclusive online video community. Take notes, don't trust your brain. Take notes, don't trust your brain. Because if you watch this and you decide, hey, you know, I think this might be a good career change for me to be a counselor, to become a life coach, or you might even say these traits I need to bump up in regards to my role as a manager and owner. I I think you can learn a lot here from what I've learned over the past 30 years as a counselor and a life coach. So take notes. Number one, I mentioned this on a previous uh, video that we did, a daily boost, is that they really care about people achieving great goals in life. I mean, that's number one. If you want to be be a great counselor, a coach, a business owner, or a manager, you've got to care, really care about the end result of the people that you're working with, number one. Number two, you've got to ask incredible questions and give outrageously powerful homework assignments. If you want to be a great coach or counselor, same thing with a manager. If you're feeding people, you know, there's a a course that we teach, uh, level one life coach certification. Actually, our life coach certification course has three levels, but in level one, we say we tell, give people the difference between answer coaches or answer managers and life coaches and counselors. And the biggest difference is, is that an answer coach or an answer manager, someone will come in and go, hey, I don't know how to get work through this problem. And they'll tell them, do A, B, C, D, E. Okay, get out of here. Counselors and coaches do it all the time, unfortunately. The very best counselors, coaches, managers, and business owners go, well, I'll tell you what. These are the steps I want you to do to figure this out on your own. Come on back tomorrow or next week and let me know what you found out. Here's some written assignments I'm going to give you to help you uncover the answer to the challenge that you're sitting in right now. Those are the best managers, business owners, life coaches, and counselors. Okay? Incredible. Number three, that, and this is going to sound like a strange one, but the best counselors and coaches and managers and owners will let people go when they're not performing to the level that they can. In other words, if I'm working with a client and and I say to them, here's the six assignments I want you to do for next week, and they agree, and they come in the next week and they go, oh, you know, it's too busy, just couldn't do it. And they come in the next week, oh yeah, I don't need to do the writing stuff, it's all in my head. There'll be a couple weeks where I'll let people slide because of certain instances they're going through, whatever it might be, but then I'll say, hey, listen, if this happens again, I'm gonna have to let you go. And I do let clients go. I let a client go a couple weeks ago because he was BSing me, you know, in the sessions. He said, oh, yeah, I'm going to do all that. And, and then he came in one day and he brought his wife in and he was laughing about how the fact that he doesn't need to do homework. And that's why he was stuck for 20 years with the addiction he had, you know. So we have to be willing to let people go, which means we have to be independent, not codependent. And a codependent coach and counselor or a codependent manager or a business owner will hang on to people that are not suited for the position, are not suited to be clients much longer than they should, and it's a lose-lose situation. These traits and many more, you know, like some of the best coaches and counselors that I know that I've worked with are very inquisitive. They're always learning. They're always reading. They're always pushing themselves to the next level. Same thing with the best managers and business owners, right? So these these characteristics are identical across the board. In the end of August uh, 2018, just in a a couple weeks, we're we're having our Life Coach Level 1 Certification Weekend Workshop. It's all day Saturday, all day Sunday. Even if you don't want to become a coach or a counselor, if you want to become a better manager or owner, join us. Or if you're thinking about becoming a coach or a counselor, join us. You're going to have an absolute blast, okay? it's Everything is at talkdavid.com. We've got a full breakdown of all the information, what you're going to learn, what you're going to take away, who it's for. It's all at talkdavid.com. Join us. We're going to have so much fun on that weekend, okay? Have a great day.